G'day kids and grown-ups. If you are loving watching and learning with Aussie, it would be amazing if you could please do me a really big favour and just tell anybody else that you think might enjoy it too. In the meantime, enjoy this brand new episode and as always, stay keen. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. So we've got a very special book for you today, all about Anzac Day. It's called What Will I See on Anzac Day? And it's written by Emily Elizabeth and illustrated by Natasha Silver. Now you can learn all about Anzac Day on one of Ozzy's other awesome videos on our YouTube channel. But just as a reminder, Anzac Day happens on the 25th of April and it's a national day of remembrance and commemoration for those who have fought or served for our country in wars or peacekeeping operations. Now let's read this really cool book. What will I see on Anzac Day? I will see people, young and old, marching together on Anzac Day. Some will be in wheelchairs and cars, while others will be walking. Look, lots of different people. What will I see on Anzac Day? I will see flags and banners waving on Anzac Day. Look, we have the Australian flag, the Aboriginal flag, New Zealand flag, and Torres Strait Islander flag. And then these three are military flags and banners. Do you know what Anzac stands for? Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. So Australia and New Zealand. What will I see on Anzac Day? I will see uniforms on Anzac Day. Army uniforms, Navy uniforms, and Air Force uniforms. Police officers, firefighters, paramedics, state emergency services, or SES, and other community helpers also march alongside the military so we can say thank you for their service. What will I see on Anzac Day? I will see medals on Anzac Day. Medals are worn by people who are or used to be in the Navy, the Army or Air Force on the left side of their chest. So this is an illustration of someone that has served in one of those things because they're wearing it on their left side. Family members and friends can also wear the medals on their right side of their chest. See, there's some family members some young girls here wearing medals on the right side of their chest. What will I see on Anzac Day? I will see wreaths and poppy flowers being laid at the cenotaph on Anzac Day. This is a wreath and it says, lest we forget. This is a way we remember and say thank you for protecting Australia and our community. A cenotaph is a special memorial to help us remember. And look, these two children are laying wreaths at the cenotaph. And see these flowers that are pinned to their shirts? They're poppy flowers, just like the ones over there. That's something that we use to help remember and honor. What will I see on Anzac Day? I will see horses and dogs walking in the parade on Anzac Day. Look, there's some horses with soldiers on the back and some dogs. Horses, dogs and other animals are part of the military and help with jobs like carrying food, water and other essential supplies. What will I do on Anzac Day? I watch with my family, sometimes in silence, and sometimes clapping and waving my flag on Anzac Day. We say thank you and lest we forget to all the people marching. Look, there's some families there and some people honoring and saying thank you. There's some more over here waving their flags. What will I hear on Anzac Day? 
I will hear a bugle, that's a bugle, bagpipes, and bands playing. There will also be times when I hear nothing on Anzac Day. Silence is for one minute, so we can remember all the people and things we saw on Anzac Day. I will hear people say the words, lest we forget. And that, that's the bugle. And when do we hear that? We hear that when they play the last post. So this is such a great book. There's so much information here so that you can talk about all this stuff with your parents, the grown-ups, or your teachers, if you want to learn more about Anzac Day. And then this is just a little bit about the author, Emily. She's a teacher as well. And her dad was actually a Vietnam veteran. So he served in the war. So she likes to do a lot of stuff, teaching kids all about the importance of the war and the importance of making sure that we recognize things like Anzac Day. And this is about the illustrator. So Natasha, who drew all the really cool pictures throughout the book, she is actually in the Royal Australian Air Force. So she does that as a job and she also draws pictures. How cool is that? So kids, I hope you've really enjoyed listening to this book today and you've got lots of ideas about what Anzac means and hopefully on Anzac Day, on the 25th of April, you wanna celebrate and mark the occasion doing something special with your family. Kids, I hope you enjoy your Anzac Day. We'll see you again on another story time with Aussie soon. Until then, stay keen. Hey kids, did you have lots of fun today watching Aussie? I hope so. Did you know that we've got a heap of Aussie episodes on our YouTube channel? If you haven't already, go back and have a scroll through. I reckon you'll find some others that you absolutely love. And while you're there, why don't you hit subscribe? That way you won't miss out on any of our new videos that we bring out. We'll see you again soon, kids. Until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right, stay keen, kids. Ozzy, 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 Oi! Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of